One of the most common questions I get from my clients initially is what is SEO? So SEO stands for search engine optimization. So this is a process of getting traffic from free, organic, or natural search results in search engines. So when describing SEO to someone who's never heard of it, I like to compare Google and Bing to librarians. So Google and Bing as librarians, they have to collect info about every page on the internet so they can help people searching find exactly what they're looking for. And every search engine has a secret formula called an algorithm. So what the algorithm does is it turns all this info into usefully ranked search results. So when you own a website domain, your SEO really matters. A couple of interesting statistics include 75% of users searching online don't click past the first page of results. And the next stat, 80% of users ignore paid ads. So look at this above the fold screenshot I took here. I searched SEO company and look at how much is taken up by Google ads alone. So basically only three organic ads are showing. The only things I don't have highlighted, those are organically ranked listings. So your goal is to fulfill every part of the search engine formula or algorithm. So you rank higher in the search results for varying keywords or search phrases. Search engine algorithms are much more complex than this, but I've broken it down to five bullet points for you. So the first part of the algorithm, words matter. Search engines narrow results based on the keywords you search. So in this example, I typed athletic shorts. What a search engine does is display websites that contain content with those specific keywords. So as you can see, the first ranking item is DickSportingGoods.com, men's athletic shorts, and men's gym shorts are within that meta description, and the title, and the domain name. So obviously words matter. Next, titles matter. So think of the keywords within a page or post title as the title of a book. They most likely describe the contents of that product, of that page, of that post. So with that same screenshot, you can see what ranked second was underarmor.com. They put the actual term athletic shorts in the title. Next, links matter. When a website links to another website, this is a sign of a recommendation or social clout. Think about it. If you recommend to a close friend to go see an amazing movie, they will most likely take your word for it and go see the movie because they trust you and your suggestions. So this is the exact same on the internet. If other websites are linking to your website, this is like the trusted website saying, hey website audience, go check out this cool site we recommend. You love our content, so you will most likely love theirs too. So a website with lots of quality backlinks looks great to search engines. I have to restate that last sentence though, quality backlinks. Search engine algorithms have gotten really good at detecting spammy or poor quality backlinks. So these poor backlinks include blog commenting, foreign PR sites, social bookmarking websites, links from pages with very little content, backlinks from websites with duplicate content, link directories, links from irrelevant websites, and content. The last one is very important. When seeking backlinks, approach websites that are relevant or similar to yours. An example of this is to offer a guest blog post on their site in exchange for a permanent backlink. So if I sell a camping tent, I would want to approach a camping blogger because they most likely type the keyword camping and camping supplies, campfire, things in that wheelhouse pretty often, right? So it's relevant and then paired with a quality influencer or a highly followed blogger, that clout you get from a backlink on a site like that is going to help you exponentially more than one of these spammy backlink sites that Google will penalize you for anyway. Next are words and links. When you see a hyperlinked word while reading a page online, you are reading what is called anchor text or an anchor tag. So here's an example. Course Envy is your number one source for the top rated online courses. So if you see a sentence like this above, the anchor text, online courses, would be hyperlinked to CourseEnvy.com. So by creating a backlink that also has anchor text to a specific keyword that the website is focused on, that website's going to rank higher in related search engine queries for that phrase. So when you create backlinks on other websites, make sure they use an anchor text for a keyword that you want to rank for. 
so Course Envy is all about online courses. When I want other websites to share my backlink, I want them to anchor text or hypertext the phrase online courses. Finally is reputation. Websites with a record of fresh and engaging content, combined with a growing number of high quality links, can only help the site climb in search engine rank. So if you're constantly creating new and superb quality content, posts, videos, etc., and using relevant keywords in that content, you have nothing to worry about. I have described the exact type of website Google wants to rank high in their search results. 